You're watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's retirement television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here is senior investment advisor, Eric Carney. Welcome to Retirement Talk TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Eric Carney. And Eric is the president and the CEO of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, how are you today? I'm great, Cynthia, how are you? I am doing fantastic as well. It's always a pleasure to see you. You're always smiling, you're always energetic, <laughs> and I'm just looking so forward to today's topic because this is a fun one. Today's show is called Retire on Fire which means retiring with a lot of energy and spark and zest, right? You want to have a lot of life to your retirement. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people who go 100 miles an hour in their career, and now all of a sudden they want to be able to enjoy that. They, they want to have that financial freedom. They don't want to have to worry about this. Mm. And interestingly enough on this show, we don't really talk about investing that much because it's more about making sure that your lifestyle is intact. Mm. Again, living in Southwest Florida, there's so many things that we can do so many times of the year that we want to keep that lifestyle going. Mm -hmm. We have our kids, we have our grandkids that are coming down to visit us. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we're going to the beaches, we're, we're going and, and doing, living the life that we actually want. And so a lot of times when people move down here, they're excited about that. Sure. And we really want to keep that momentum going with their retirement as well. Absolutely, because like you talked about before, Eric, obviously someone has worked their whole life, right, to get to where they are today, retirement. It used to be the fact that people would retire and you sometimes thought about them sitting on a front porch somewhere, sipping yeah. some lemonade, sweet tea, depending on where you're from. Yeah. And then it's not the same anymore. Like you mentioned, you wanna maintain a lifestyle that you're used to living. So do you ask that question often, Eric? Do you, When you're sitting with someone, do you say, do you want to lose your lifestyle? What would that look like if you did? Yeah, absolutely. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to paint a real picture. Like, look, you're not in a good position right now because of your previous advisor. Mm. Now what we want to do is put you in a better position. But if you stay the course that you're currently on, how would you feel if you lost your lifestyle that you have? And there's a lot of people that say, I've gotten used to this lifestyle. I don't want to go backwards. Please help me go forward. And you know, Cynthia, we've mm -hmm. talked about the past 12 months and our clients were actually in a great position. Mm -hmm. Through that financial plan, through the proactive uh, service that we've provided, they've had a great year. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people that are still suffering. Sure. You know, th the dichotomy between some people's portfolios and my client's portfolios is staggering. We just had a client that came in, we took a look at his uh, last 12 month statements. Mm -hmm. He's down negative 6.46%. Mm. How can that be when the S&P 500 mm -hmm. has done so well? Right. And so all of a sudden I said to him, I said, look, you lost six and a half percent. You're paying your advisor a fee. You're paying fee in these retail funds. Things are not adding up over here. Yeah. And so we've talked in the past about educating that client. Mm -hmm. I'm not just gonna go into that meeting and say, look, and like pound in my chest and say, me better advisor than them. I'm gonna prove to them that I'm a better advisor because I'm gonna show them what's not working in that portfolio. And they're gonna be like, wow, if you reduce your fees, you reduce your risk, you reduce your volatility, all the ingredients need to be improved and you're, more than likely you're gonna get a better rate of return. Absolutely. And people like this because they've never been educated before. Again, where you sold a product or where you provided with a solution. Yeah. We're trying to provide you with a solution. I want you to retire on fire. I want you to be successful in retirement. I don't want you to have to have those worries. Again, we've sacrificed a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that say, well, geez, Eric, you don't have to worry about your retirement because I've made it a priority. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was important to me. And so the thing is, is that all the sacrifices that our clients have made, we've also have been respectful of their money and making sure that they're in a better place too. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we do. We, we do financial planning, we do wealth management, we do strategic planning. This is what people are craving. This is what people want. And so again, that's why we've been so busy this year and I'm grateful again to my staff. Absolutely. And Eric, I think it's also important to talk about the fact that you're a fiduciary and what that means to the viewing audience. You're putting their needs above anything else. Every client that you have that comes into your office that sits with you, you're giving the same advice that you would give your best friend, right. your mom, 
your aunt, your uncle, you're taking the time to really get to know them mm -hmm. and to put their needs first, which is a lot of times the reason why your clients' portfolios, they can withstand volatile market change because it's the right products for them, not something that's sold just because someone works for a certain firm. Absolutely. Correct? makes a huge difference. Being a fiduciary by license and law, I have to put our client's best interest first. It doesn't matter to me what investment we use. Again, when we ask all those questions, it's now going to funnel down to the answers and put together a portfolio that's right for your needs. There's a lot of people that say, I don't want to work with a family member. I don't want to work with a friend. Guess mm -hmm. what? I have a lot of my friends' portfolios. I have my family's portfolios. So the bottom line is, is that my sister and I are best friends, but she still wants me to manage her money. She's like, I don't think that's going to ruin our relationship. I do the same exact thing that I do for my mother and my sister and my friends as I do with all my clients. I never take them for granted. We still put them through the planning process. They're just like another client. Mm -hmm. And so the bottom line is, is that people, again, they appreciate the process mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. outcome that they're getting because they want to know where they are. They want to be transparent with their portfolio. Sure. And so again, this is what people want and it gives them that financial confidence to be able to retire on fire. Absolutely. And speaking of that, Eric, let's talk about creating long-term stability for mm -hmm. your clients. How do you do that? Boy, it's a lot of work, Cynthia, and this mm -hmm. is the one thing, I mean, it takes a whole team. Mm -hmm. But again, you've got different interest rates, you've got inflation, you have healthcare needs. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different things that happen to our clients all throughout the year that mm -hmm. we never saw coming. Sure. So it's those invisible financial hurdles that we don't see, but guess what? Donna has included financial what ifs in the financial plan mm -hmm. and she actually blocks away money. So all of a sudden, if there's something where a client needs 40,000, we expected that at some point in their retirement. Mm -hmm. So we've actually planned for that 40,000 to come from somewhere. We don't, we didn't know what the purpose of that 40,000 was. Mm -hmm. It might be 50,000, it might be 75,000. But the bottom line is that, you know, it could be a kitchen remodel, it could be a healthcare issue, it could be a child issue, it could be taking care of a parent. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mm -hmm. things that come out of left field that we don't expect. Sure. But we're proactively planning for those what ifs. And so a lot of times people like that. They're like, geez, Eric, you, you understood mm -hmm. that. But understand that when you work with hundreds of families, mm -hmm. you've seen a lot of different situations. Sure. And so when you're living in your own little bubble, you don't know what it's like with 150 families or 175 families, we do. Absolutely. We've seen all the things that could possibly happen and we implement that into our practice. Absolutely, Eric. And let me ask you, what about reducing market exposure? Do you recommend this as clients get, let's say, more mature in years, older in years, if you will? Yeah, 100% because unfortunately the older that we get, the more vulnerable that we get sure. and also the more worried that we get. <clears throat> so there's a lot of people, even my mom, I go back to later in life, she was a financial advisor, she was mm -hmm. also a tax preparer. Mm -hmm. What I saw in my mom was the older that she got, she didn't feel as confident as she did financially 10 years ago. Okay. We start to realize when we get to a certain age that we've defined who we are financially and that's never going to substantially change. And so the thing is, is we start to peel off income from that, but we also realize that we can't go back to work. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, is that we, we feel financially vulnerable. We want to make sure that our money's protected. So now all of a sudden, a lot of people are afraid to spend that money. Of course. Because they don't want it to deplete. I think what happens is when people don't have financial confidence, that's what happens. Yeah. With a lot of our clients, we have to actually encourage them to spend more money. We're like, hey, you want that new couch? Get it. <laughs> I'll take you shopping if I have to. Absolutely. Right? I mean, you know, and, and the bottom line is too is, after we've sacrificed our whole entire life, there's a lot of times where I tell people, if you don't start enjoying your money, someone else is going to. And mm -hmm. I want our clients to make sure that they're absolutely retiring re, or enjoying their money that they have in retirement so that they can enjoy their lives, they can do all the things that they want. Obviously travel for the past year has been very difficult, mm -hmm. but eventually we're gonna get back to that and of people course. are gonna get back to traveling and they're gonna wanna be able to do that, mm -hmm. right? People are, people are sick of their own four walls, right? <laughs> so this year has really opened it up where a lot more people are excited about you know planning for things and they are traveling a little bit more, so they're starting to use that money again. That's exciting to me. Absolutely, and again, it comes back to retire on fire. Mm -hmm. Eric, this is the perfect time for us to go ahead and open up
up the phone lines to the viewers at home. Would you agree? I agree. <laughs> Let's do it. To our viewers at home, the number on your screen to call is 800-779-1942. What Eric is offering you today is a complimentary consultation to the first 10 callers only. I asked Eric who would benefit the most from this offer today. He said if you have about 500000 saved up for retirement, this is probably going to be the most beneficial to you. Again, only 10 spots are open this week. The number to call is 800 779 1942. When I come back from this very short commercial break, I'm going to have some more questions for Eric on how to plan your perfect retirement. So please stay tuned. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Questions about your retirement are normal. So come into our office, sit down with us, and let us help you find those answers. Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement that they've always dreamed of. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Retirement doesn't have to be scary. Let us help you retire confidently because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Welcome back to Retirement Talk TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Eric Carney and Eric is president and CEO of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, a great show we're having today talking about retiring on fire, which is awesome because people want to retire with zest and zeal yeah. and a passion for their retirement years. So let's jump right back in and let's talk about how do you improve your asset allocation? So I think this is one of the biggest things that we really complement a portfolio with. There's a lot of people that are coming in with expensive retail funds, outdated investments, outdated portfolios. Nothing's been rebalanced. It's just old and tired. What we're doing is we wanna bring life to that portfolio. I wanna take a look at that portfolio and I want it to tell me what you're trying to accomplish. Do I see growth? Do I see income? Do I see preservation of capital? If I don't see any of these and it's not suiting what you're actually wanting to do, it's not going to work for you. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, about a month ago, a gentleman came in and I said, what are you trying to accomplish? He said, I want preservation of wealth. I want income, I want growth. Guess what? You don't have any one of those. Mm -hmm. And as we went through, we actually proved how he didn't have any single one of those at all. And so a lot of times we can prove to the client through education, why this is actually detrimental to them. And you know, Cynthia, the thing mm -hmm. is, is that when we educate them, mm -hmm. we're letting them make the decision. Sure. I'm not holding a gun to their head. I just wanna show you how we think that we can put you in a better position. I wanna show you a better asset allocation. Mm -hmm. I wanna show you something that's tactically managed. I wanna show you something that actually is going to integrate very well within your retirement it's gonna complement your entire life. Mm -hmm. That's what people want. They wanna know, wow, this change that I'm making is going to be significant. And again, it can't be one good reason or two, it's gotta be three darn good reasons or more. A lot of times when it comes to mm -hmm. asset allocation, it's simply four and five major things that are wrong with a portfolio. And as we go through those, the client is then educated. They're willing to make a change because they understand that that more than likely will put them in a better position long term. That's what we're looking to do. So again, then what we have to do is maintain, manage, and monitor that portfolio going forward and also communicate with the client. That's the thing that a lot of people are lacking is that service. Yeah. They wanna hear from their advisor. And so there's a lot of times throughout the week, my clients are emailing me, texting me, giving me a call and saying, hey, Eric, accounts look great, 
look great. I can't believe the difference. That's what we want to hear. I love that positive feedback. And so the thing is, is that we work tirelessly. I mean, yeah. you know, the past 12 months have been grueling, but we've come together as a team like we always do. And we've put every single one of our clients in a better position. Mm. And the bottom line is, is that what I always have to do for my own self-serving purposes is after six months, after one year, I want to present to the client their old portfolio compared to the new portfolio that we've custom built for them. And I want to show them all the positive differences. Mm. And after we do that, the client says to me, you know, what, Eric, I don't want you to ever bring up my past portfolio again. Let's move forward. Eric, let me ask you a question. If someone is in the viewing audience right now and they're perhaps talking to their loved one and they realize that they have not heard from their advisor at all the past year, is that a red flag? It's the number one red flag. Okay. The past 12 months have been detrimental to a lot of investors. Mm -hmm. There's so much lost opportunity out there. Rates of return are low. There's a lot of expensive retail funds out there. There's inappropriate products. Nothing's being managed. Mm -hmm. Nothing's being planned for. And again, if we go back to March of 2020, mm -hmm. that was a critical year. Absolutely. There's a lot of people now that in, in retrospect, they look back and they're like, my advisor dropped the ball because whatever you did or didn't do really set the tone for the rest of 2020. Sure. We actually had a great year in 2020, yeah, absolutely. right? We're having a great year in 21. There's changes to the administration that's going on, mm -hmm. but we expected those. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of rolling you know, with the punches that were dealt with and we can do that. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is that people are still in the past and they realize I do have to make a change, but they procrastinate because they're afraid to make that change. Mm. And so the biggest thing that I could say now is give us a call today. Yeah. More than likely, we can put you in a better position. And again, it's just a simple conversation that we have. Sure. And um, already, like I said, and it's very calming to me as well when I know that somebody comes in that's new that I can change their situation yeah. and I'm proving to them that we can do that. I'm showing them what their weaknesses are and how we can actually eradicate those. And you actually, you take the time to listen as well because I love hearing that from clients that have come in to sit with you. They feel like whatever you have going on, nothing else matters, that you're completely focused on them. Yeah. And so often, especially in the retirement years, what someone needs the most, Eric, is someone who's going to listen to them and to help them decide what is the best course of action for them because again we've talked about this the number one fear a lot of people have is running out of money yeah there's again I, I say this all the time but I don't think that people can really comprehend how many moving parts there are yeah. to financial planning to investment planning to income planning I mean, financial planning itself, we could we could do three shows on, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But we won't, because <laughs> it gets rather boring. But but you know, the, but it's complicated. Yeah. You know, financial planning itself is complicated, <laughs> and then we do the lifestyle income plan, which in itself is complicated, mm -hmm. and then you're building a portfolio, which again is complicated. Sure. And then even our concierge service, it's amazing how many different phone calls that we get on a weekly basis of different issues that our clients have. And that's why Autumn does that so well. She's like, I find it a challenge and I want to fix this for people. Yeah. Anybody that talks to Autumn understands that she's so passionate for her job and that she really wants to help people. I can't believe the staff that I've put together because every time that we bring someone else into the fold, but the nice thing is, and we, we do this, we have quarterly meetings and we're like, hey guys, how's everything going? Like, you know, what do you need from me? You know, what do I need from you? And we kind of, you know, talk about it wide open. Yeah. And the thing that I said in our last meeting was, you know, the nice thing is, every one of us individually can go out with that next person to lunch and we enjoy that person just as much as we all do in a group. Yeah. And so I really appreciate that because we are a family <clears throat> mm -hmm. and the people that come into us like that we've been together for a very long time. Mm -hmm. They like that, you know, people aren't coming and going because our clients get to know us. We're a very tight knit group and that's what I like about that. Mm -hmm. So we really don't have a lot of attrition. I mean, we have incredibly low attrition Actually, the reason that we lose, you know, some of our clients is because they actually pass away, which is unfortunate. Sure. But the thing is, is that, you know, our clients are coming to us. We're trying to give them everything that they need so that it is a lifelong relationship. 
Absolutely. Well, Eric, this is the perfect time for us to reopen the phone lines. Would you agree? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. To the viewers at home, the phone lines are once again now open. The number to call is 800-779-1942. When we started the show this week, we had 10 spots available. Now we are only down to four spots. So please, if you have 500000 or more saved up for retirement, Eric would like to speak with you. This is your opportunity to come in and to actually get to know Eric and let him get to know you as well. Again, it's complimentary, no obligation. The number to call is 800-779-1942. We have to take a very short commercial break, but we're going to be right back with more questions and answers on how to plan your perfect retirement. Please stay tuned. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Questions about your retirement are normal. So come into our office, sit down with us, and let us help you find those answers. Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement that they've always dreamed of. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Retirement doesn't have to be scary. Let us help you retire confidently. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Welcome back to Retirement Talk TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Eric Carney. And Eric is president and CEO of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, a great show today talking about retiring on fire and so having passion in your retirement. And let's talk a little bit about how you can create a long-term financial plan for someone. Yeah, so I mean, I remember um, back in 2001, there was a great advisor that I used to work for and he was really my mentor. Mm -hmm. The first thing that he, very, that he said to me was garbage in, garbage out. So the better information that you actually put into that financial plan, the better that financial plan comes out. Okay. And so that's where we've put together a huge list of questions that we go through each individual client. We really want to understand what's important to them. What are their concerns? Mm -hmm. We want to hear what their risk tolerance is. We also want to know how they feel about money okay. because there is a lot of investment behavior that goes on with um, financial planning. Mm -hmm. So we want to understand how they grew up with money, where the money came from, you know, and we have some people that say, I had it all, I lost it all, I built it back up. Mm -hmm. How do we respect that? Sure. And the bottom line is, is that we really want to be absolutely respectful of someone's situation, their money, what they're trying to accomplish, and how are we going to create that long-term financial plan? Mm. And there's a lot of people that come in and say, Eric, I just want you to manage my money. You're not gonna be a good fit for us. Right. When somebody calls on the phone and says, what was your rate of return last year? Well, it just seems like they're always looking for the next best thing. Yeah. Our clients want to know through the financial planning process that we're covering every single base. Mm. And again, your life is going to change. Mm -hmm. And there's a mm -hmm. lot of people who've never had financial planning where their financial life is changing, but the advice never is given. Mm. And so they really feel like, geez, you know what? I had a big inheritance, um, I'm retiring, but no advice is being changed from my current advisor. They're just mm. like, ah, keep going on. Here's the bottom line. Challenge your financial status quo. If you really feel like your life is changing, but there's no advice giving in there, challenge your financial status quo. Say, look, I deserve better, I want better. I want an advisor who's actually going to fight for me. I want an advisor who's actually going to service my needs. Yeah. I want an advisor who's gonna provide me that financial planning team 
to do some sophisticated planning to really be proactive and provide for me. I want that advisor to be a fiduciary who's truly looking out for my best interest. Mm -hmm. This is what financial planning is all about, is really finding the top tier advisors who are really building a team together, but they're going out and they're trying to provide that client everything that they need. And there's a lot of times things that clients don't know that they need until it actually happens. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of events in our life that actually come and they're like, geez, Eric, I never saw that coming. Yeah. We kind of did. Well, and it's so important, Eric, also to talk about the fact that building a long-term financial plan, as you know, has to actually encompass a lot longer period of time, if you will, because we're living longer, correct? Right. We're taking yeah. better care of ourselves. So a lot of times people might be working with an advisor that maybe have their plan drawn out to, let's say, age 80. Yeah. But Eric, what happens if they live to 100? Yeah, so we actually have clients right now that want us to prepare for them living till 105. Okay. And you know, they'll tell me, my mother's living till 93, and you know, we want to make sure that you know, if we live to 93, there's a good chance by then we could live to 100 or 105. Mm. We actually have to plan for that. One of our oldest clients right now are 91 and 93 years old. There's no reason that I can't see one of them living until 100. Mm. And so again, we can't take them for granted, even though they've been clients for us for a long time, we have to make sure that they're still getting sound advice, we're still reaching out to them. And you know, the thing is, is that um, they still have monetary needs. We can't forget that. And there's, they still like to go out to lunch or an sure. early dinner. They're still going grocery shopping. They still <clears throat> have bills. Mm -hmm. And so the bottom line is that we have to manage their income plan just like everyone else's. Mm -hmm. And so if anyone feels financially vulnerable, it would be them. Because again, at this point, they're just trying to stay in their house, be very comfortable, take care of each other, and we want to be very well aware of their needs. And so again, it doesn't matter if you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or approaching 100, you need some kind of sound financial plan, but you also have to know that somebody is at the wheel of your finances. I think mm. that's the most critical thing. Absolutely. Eric, let's talk a little bit about the complimentary consultation. If someone was blessed enough to receive one of those today, how long can they plan to set aside for that consultation with you? I would say the first meeting is about 45 minutes to maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's just a discovery meeting. We're trying to figure out what their goals and objectives are. We're gonna do a personal financial blueprint on their current portfolio. We're gonna show them all the strengths and the weaknesses, what the rate of return is, things that we can improve on. So mm -hmm. it's actually an eye-opening experience for a lot of people. And um, again, a lot of people feel really happy that they went to it and they're ready to schedule the second meeting. Any documents that they should bring with them, Eric? Their financial plan, their lifestyle income plan, and all of their current statements would be great. Okay, and that's pretty much all you need to get started on that plan for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And to see if you're a good fit, which I know everyone falls in love with you, so you're just <laughs> going to be extremely busy from this point forward, even more so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate that. Oh, well, thank you for another amazing show this week, Eric. And again, talking about the importance of retiring on fire. You want to enjoy those retirement years. That's Absolutely. Right. And you're able to help your clients do exactly that. To the viewers at home, the phone number on your screen is once again now there. It's 800-779-1942. We know you have a lot of questions about how to retire with confidence. Eric has the answers for you. Again, you only retire once. You want to get it right the first time. Let Eric be your guide. Thank you for watching. Be safe, be happy, be blessed, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Hey Southwest Florida, Eric here. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in a second opinion or a fully blown written financial plan, let's get you reacquainted with your portfolio and again without any obligation. If you're interested in your very own income plan, let's get you reacquainted with that as well. Give us a call today, strive for excellence, your wealth deserves it.